from unsung heroes of U.S. history. Sybil Ludington makes her own midnight ride. Enemy British forces were approaching. A patriot rode out into the night to warn the Americans. This might sound like the tale of Paul Revere, but it's the story of Sybil Ludington, who rode twice as far as Revere. Sybil Ludington's father was Henry Ludington. He was a colonel in the colonial army. On April 26, 1777, there was a knock at the door. It was a messenger with news. He said 2,000 British troops were attacking nearby Danbury in Western Connecticut. Colonel Ludington needed to act, but his troops were scattered. They didn't expect this to, ha this to happen. Colonel Ludington's 16-year-old daughter, Sybil, jumped on her horse named Star. Sybil and Star rode 40 miles through the night. She warned anyone who would listen that the British were coming. She told soldiers to meet at her house. Sybil had to avoid British soldiers and anyone who was loyal to the British. On top of that, there was no moon, making the ride dark and dangerous. Unfortunately, the troops arrived too late to save the town, but they were able to fight the British and push them back. Sybil received a thank you from General Washington for her efforts, but her ride was soon forgotten in favor of Revere's. So we see a portrait of Sybil Ludington's ride. We see Sybil had to watch out for British soldiers as she rode. I know we've read about her before. We see Sybil's legacy, Paul Revere's poems and songs written about him, but Sybil is remembered in other ways. Since, seven, since 1979, a foot race has been held in her honor. It retraces the route of her famous ride. 400, the number of American soldiers that Sybil rounded up during her ride. Sybil was 16 years old at the time of her ride. Her father was, the, was a colonial, or, or excuse me, a colonel in the colonial army. British soldier, British troops were advancing on Sybil's hometown. She rode through the night to warn the Americans and gather up soldiers. <laughs> 